Hey everybody, it's Allison Salvin with Stamp Crazy with Allison, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Vancouver, British Columbia. So welcome to my live today. I'm just going to make sure that I am broadcasting. And I usually wait for somebody to come on to say they can hear me. So hopefully someone... Hi Keisha, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Oops. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, you can hear me. Excellent. So I'm getting better at this, eh, Keisha? Hi, I'm probably not sure if you're still on here. Hi, you're there. I'm sorry you didn't get your tabs. I actually had sent out tabs um, with the annual catalog, and then I put some tabs in the new mini. Um, so they're just little tabs. I'll, I'll get them in the mail to you. Um, next time you order, I'll put them in with your thank you card. Okay. Sorry about that. All righty. Oh, hope you guys are doing well. Oh, I guess that would help if my face was showing. Here we are. Hey, there we are. Uh, how are you guys doing? How's everybody doing? I got a confession that I was kind of scrambling to come up with a card and come up with a stamp set and Oh boy, so hopefully it's okay today. Let's see, what are we at? 301. Okay, we'll just wait till we get a few more folks on and then we'll get started. So hopefully you guys are having a good day and got some crafting done since we last got together. This is Wednesday. Yes, this is Wednesday. Gotta think what day it is. Okay. Um Nobody's saying anything. What's up, everybody? What's up? <laughs> um, I'll remind you guys that um, Aunt McKay and I are running our... My dog who hates rain enjoyed walking in the sun. Oh, I know. It was nice today, Keisha. I love their picture the other day with the bee. That was really sweet. Um, Angie McKay and I are offering a catalog launch party on July the 23rd and 24th. And we have our um, focus for our launch party is the Sweetest Christmas Suite. And then we're running two classes on the Sunday. One is the Scotty Dogs. So cute. And the other one is the Gnomes. And some of you were asking at our last, at my last video, or maybe a couple, maybe last week, whether you could take the classes if you weren't taking the launch party. And we have decided to make it available to everyone. So if you're at the launch party, you get a slightly better uh, price point than if you just want to take a class. But both are available. So Keisha, I think that was one of your questions. Um, so um, yeah, you can go ahead and register with Ange once we get the registrations going. Hi, Marilyn. Thank you again for my beautiful card, Marilyn. I should show you guys. Let me, while we're waiting for other people, Marilyn sent me this gorgeous card. Can you guys see it? But check out the, the fancy fold. Isn't that great? She used that, that border, which is like clouds, but she used it in a very different way. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyways, it was very, very thoughtful, and um, it is gorgeous. And it was to celebrate that I would um, reached my 800,000 milestone. Um, in career sales with Stampin' Up. So that's like, I don't know, million dollars Canadian or something. But anyway, but that was very thoughtful. Isn't it great to get cards in the mail when you don't expect them? So never underestimate the power of a beautiful card or a card just to say thinking of you in the mail. Okay, so I think we can get started. More people will show up. Let's move over here. And there we go. So we're going to be working. Hi, Jennifer. We're going to be working with, oh, who else jumped on? Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Sharon. Oh, more people are listed over here. Okay. So I'm going to be using a stamp set that's brand new in the annual catalog. It's called Cheerful Basket. And we've got the stamps and then we've got the matching dies. And I'm also going to be using this stamp set I wanted to show you. It's called... Uh, charming sentiments bundle and it's all these fabulous words congratulations there's baby ones in here there's just a hey there how are you happy birthday good luck 
Um, so many great sayings. Thank you. You can always use thank you. And um, I wanted to um, show you guys this set because what's fabulous about it is, you know, if you don't like fussy cutting around words, this die set cuts out the words. Isn't that fabulous? So very excited. Okay, you got your five-year pin yesterday. That is so exciting. I got my 20th one a couple weeks ago. They're nice, aren't they, Jennifer? The way they're boxed up in those beautiful boxes and our pins. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so we are going to use the, the cheerful basket. Here we go. So great. Look at the little kitty. And we've got the basket. We've got art supplies, hearts for Valentine's or just anniversary or birthday. And then we've got the apples. And we've got three sayings and a little butterfly. So very cute. And I'm going to be using some of the uh, dies. So we'll show you those as we use them. And then here's the other one, the Charming Sentiments. Love it. And this die set, you guys, is fantastic. Let me just show you. There are so, look at all these dies. So obviously these are the ones that cut out the words, right? And then we've also got these extras. Um, we've got a candle and a butterfly and a star heart, kind of, you know, like a confetti. So really cool. Lots of things on this one. Actually, I was going to use um, a particular thing, but I'm wondering if I could use the thank you instead. I think I might use the thank you instead. When you first use these, you're kind of looking like, oh, gosh, where's the thank you? It is a bit, <laughs> it is a bit like a needle in the haystack, isn't it? But I think this might be the thank you. And it is. Okay. I think I'm going to use the thank you. All right. Because thanks to you guys who voted for me, I enter a monthly contest where um, we have uh, like a little blog hop kind of thing. And my card was in the top 10. So when you're in the top 10, you get to do another card. And, um, another blog hop. So it has to have a theme of thank you. And actually Marilyn, who's on this call, she was also in the top 10. So that was really cool. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, yes. Oh, good. I'm glad you're excited. There's a few add-ons. Yeah. Excellent. Um, yeah, we just changed that. Sorry. I'm talking to myself and Keisha. For those of you who just joined, we were talking about the add-on classes for July 24th. And um, in the past, Ange McKay and I have had it where you have to be part of the launch party to take those add-ons, but we've decided to extend it to anyone who wants to take them. It's just a bit of a premium price. You just pay a little bit more. Okay. Now, have you guys noticed in the catalog, we have note cards with envelopes. Have you guys ever noticed these? Okay. You get 20 note cards and they're 20 envelopes. And these are, I think, a folded size. I think they're five by three and a half. Okay, so that's it open. And they're a nice thick um, cardstock. So it's the thick white. Okay. And what's great about them, of course, is when you have a smaller card, you don't have to think about putting too much on your card. But what I really love is how much can you, know, you can write less in a card, in a note card. You don't have a whole space to fill up. So I kind of like that. Um, we're going to use this, we're going to use that, um, stamps that we talked about. I'm a little, I hate to, you know, I think I'm not overly, you know, um, organized, but I'm a little more organized than I was today. I was really struggling with what I was going to use today. And when I looked at the basket, I thought, well, baskets are brown and I should do crumb cake or whatever. And then I thought, no, I don't want to do that. So I want to make it a little bit brighter. So let's bring in our little mini here and we've got our you guys are going to be so excited when I show you this check this out I got new plates I treated myself to new plates now my old plate let me show you look at it got rubbed off so what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to turn it over but I always use plate number three on the bottom okay and then look at this oh my gosh it's almost criminal to use these beautiful um clear plates isn't it but I'm going to now, this is Bermuda Bay. And what I want, I want to do my basket. So you've got two dies that make the basket. So that's the main part of the basket. And then these are the crossbars on the basket, if that makes sense. Have any of you got this um, 
bundle. Have you guys used it? It's super cute. You might not even have noticed it. I think it's on page 35. Okay, so we're going to grab these. Oops, and that. We'll put those over there. And I'm going to just do one more. All these little bits. I'm going to do one more. Um, this one here, the little bars. I actually want one more of the top bar. So I'm just going to put it there on my scrap and run it through. You'll see why in a minute. I know. It's like, why not I just using them? It's kind of crazy. Hi, Mary. Nice to see you. Okay, so we just wanted one extra piece of this one. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. You, I got to get over this, you know, not using stuff, right? Okay, so you end up with something that looks like this, and you want to just um, poke these little bits out. There go. So you can see it's got, it's, it's embossed it, so it looks like a real basket which is so cool. And then we've got our other bits. Here they are. These are sort of our cross bits. Okay, we'll just put those together in a minute. And then I've got my extra one, and I'm just going to grab the scissors and trim this. It's a little bit, got a little bit extra. So I've got two of those. All right, next what I want to do is cut out some additional pieces. So I've got a piece of silver foil paper and we've got the handle. Because you know when you have an old-fashioned like a old-fashioned little basket like this they have kind of a wire handle that's what that is. Okay and then we also want some apples and I'm not going to cut out tons of them but I am going to cut out a few to show you. So we've got our little apple dies. So cute. And then I've also got, actually I'm going to cut out, I'll cut out one red one and one green one because I pre-cut a bunch of them. Otherwise you'd be watching me do this forever, wouldn't you? Um, I think we're going to use one of like a granny apple. So we're going to do one of those, Granny Smith. And then We've also got leaves. So you pretty much got everything you need here. Okay, and then let's just run those through. Okay. Hi Deborah. Oh, is this on your list for the next time? Oh good. Yeah, it's super cute. I bought it in my first pre-order actually, because I really liked it. Um, or my first order, I guess. So we've got the apple and another apple and the leaves. I'm going to pile them up and then I'm going to bring them back in and show you. And then we've got our little basket handle. All right. I think that's all I need to cut right now. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So let's set that aside. I'll have to bring that back in a minute because I will be stamping and cutting out some other things. All right. So here's our bits. Bring those in. Let's put this together and then I'll go on to the next item. Okay, so now get my glue. Am I still in frame? Yeah, okay. So you can see here that this goes on the bottom and then we've got this one that goes on the top and then we've got one that goes in the middle. Okay, and that's as simple as you can get, right? Okay, there, I'm going to show you later, but there's other images that you can actually stamp and cut out where you don't have to cut out all the fiddly little apples, and I'll show you that later. So if you don't like fiddle with the apples, that's okay. You can, um, you can stamp out a whole bunch of apples in a, and cut it out. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, so you can see, you just move this up until it matches the side there. I love this bright Bermuda blue. Isn't it great? This Bermuda Bay. I love it. Okay. Now, then I was thinking, 
apples. Let's put some apples together. So we've got our little red apple. And what I did was I just took the little leaf and I just put a little bit, like hardly any glue on the end like that. This is a bit finicky. So if finicky isn't your friend, then this probably is not something you want to do a whole bunch of, but there's an apple. But through the magic of television, look at me, I've done a whole bunch of apples ahead of time because there was just no way I was going to be able to do them all. Okay, so we've got some green apples and I've got red and red. What's your favorite apples, you guys? When I was a kid, we didn't have a lot of choices. We had like uh, Granny Smith and Spartan. That was big. Macintosh and Delicious, Red Delicious. That was sort of our choice. But now we've got all these fabulous ones. Like my favorite is Honeycrisp. What about you guys? Do you have a favorite apple? I like it because it's crunchy. And um, I like a good crunch on my apple. Okay, let's add a little bit more of that. And I've got a bit darker. So this was parakeet, this green. And my leaves are granny apple green. And then I've also made some uh, pear pizzazz ones. So in terms of the leaves. So I just wanted a little bit of variety in color and texture here. So let's do one more granny. Okay. Ambrosia. Those are good too. I like those. Gala are good, aren't they? Uh, hi, Linda. We're just making apples here. We're just making little green apples. Okay, so let's move that off because that's not quite dry. Okay, so I think I've got enough apples. Uh, I'm going to need actually one more green because we want we don't want it to be too um, too red. I kind of have some variety. And I have no idea. I haven't even made this card, you guys. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This you, I'm creating live, <laughs> having no idea what it's going to look like when we're done. So here's what I thought. I thought if I used an extra piece, this is my thinking, and then I put my apples along this piece, then I could just fit it behind. That was my thinking. So let's see how that works. So I want some of them flat, and then I want some of them raised. So I'm going to kind of do this, and I'm going to put my, I might not use all of these, but let's put that one like that. Sort of like a little crate of apples, right? Just like you would find in the store and then let's use some itty bitty teeny weeny where are they dimensionals let's put some of those on our green apples and let's see here something like that and then how about one more Okay, like this. I think it looks good with the little dimensions. Now, I don't know how this is going to actually go <laughs> behind this. I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll figure it out together. Um, I think another apple can be kind of like that. I don't think it has to be popped up. It can just be. This will be a miracle if this works, won't it, you guys? But we like to live dangerously. You know, why make it easy? Okay, there we go. So that's kind of what I was thinking with my apples. You know, sometimes when you do things over and over, you change your mind. But okay, so I'm going to have my apples like that. I think that looks good. So I'm just going to glue this. And that was a lot easier, right, than trying to stick it behind here and figure it out. I think this is a lot easier. So I want to do that. Now I want to let that sit for a sec. Okay, so I'm going to let it sit. I'm not even going to try and move it because, you know, sometimes, oh, there we go. I can move it up there. Okay, let's do that. Next, let's stamp some more images. So in the stamp set, let me grab it. Look at this kitty. Isn't she cute? I love her. So I'm going to stamp the kitty cat in Memento. Hi, Carol. So my kitty, here's my little kitty. 
so cute. Yay. Let that dry for a sec. And then on my a piece of black cardstock, I want to emboss the words. Now, remember I said I changed my mind and I'm going with thank you. So now I have to just grab the thank you from this fantastic charming sentiment. Who's got that? Who got the charming sentiments? It is fantastic. You've got these and you don't have to fussy cut, which is awesome. There it is. Thank you. I'm hoping the thank you isn't too big for my image. No, I don't think so. We're going with it. Now, remember what I said, you guys. Some of you have been getting the catalogs in the mail, the new mini catalog. And this is one of the products. You have to get this, this ensemble of your embossing body, the tweezers, the, the little um, brush, and the little powder pal. So we're going to take our black. And, of course, black is notorious for picking up oil and picking up stray bits of embossing powder that you don't want. And now I need my okay we're gonna ink it up in first the mark and stamp that I'm just gonna stamp it right in the middle that's a bit easier and I've been using my um, powder pile for different colors so that's why I've got the little piece of paper underneath it um, so I can gather up as much so I don't mix my colors okay that's good yeah, that looks good and I'm going to see, I got some over there, right? Okay, that away, and that away, and that away. Grab my tweezers and let's heat set that. Isn't it cute, Carol? I know it's so cute. It's a sweet little stamp set. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now, fantastic. We've got, look at this. We can cut this out with the coordinating die. I mean, this is like, hallelujah. I have a friend, Ange, who you guys know, Ange McKay, and she cuts out everything. She's like an expert cutter of these words. So good for her. <laughs> I'm not so good at it. So I like the fact that there is a die cut for each one of the words in that humongous stamp set. Okay, okay we've got that. And then Let's color the cat and then we'll cut it out, okay? So I've got some Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna start by using the light, I think it's light petal pink, just on her ears. And I think I'm just going to put a little bit on her mouth there, just like that, okay. Now we've got Smoky Slate and Gray Granite. And Gray Granite is dark. I'm gonna go with the lighter. So I'm gonna take the dark Smoky Slate and I'm just going to use the already highlighted areas of the stamp that the artist has already given us. Why reinvent the wheel, I say. I'm just going to do that. Okay. I just, sometimes I take a lot of time to color and sometimes I just scribble. So both seem to work out for me. So I start with the dark and then I'm going to go in with my light. And I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Isn't she sweet? She's a sweet little cat. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Go my markers. Go. She's so sweet. That's just sweet. Then I'm going to wait for that to dry just a sec. I'm going to go in. Let me just go in here with the light gray granite. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I'm just going to actually add a little bit of definition here. Just give it a little bit more um, 
what's the word you guys like highlights i guess okay there i think that looks good there she is so cute she will lighten up as it dries you have to get this greeting stamp set carol yes you must did you guys order yesterday for the free shipping who took advantage of free shipping yesterday i did i got some of the uh, the kits you know that are on sale the bogo buy one get one 50 off i bought some kits because they're awesome for gifts and they're awesome for if you just want to um do some quick cards you can do eight at a time everything's in the little thing for you it's all great so look at that we can cut out our cat because our cat has a matching die okay i think that's all i need my die cut for put that out of the way let's bring in our little so cute we've got our little kitty look at that she's so cute and we've got our thank you so thank you and then remember we cut this out of our silver foil this is the little handle now I find this one doesn't I don't know it doesn't fit the way I think it should so I just guessed um, when I made a basket earlier I didn't make this card but I made a basket earlier so I'm just gonna put a little blue, bit of glue at each end and then on this little piece here which is kind of like the handle part there I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on that all right and then I'm gonna tape it up I'm gonna sort of put it there and then it's okay there we go if it goes around and it's too long because that's sort of the way it's supposed to be plus of course I have my kitty and she'll cover that all right so remember when we started we had our little note card size um you got kits too oh the robot one absolutely perfect have you guys seen the robot kit oh my gosh so cute it's perfect for kids um Carol's going to do it with her grandchildren, uh, grandsons, which is so cute. Okay, because kids love robots, I'm just saying. So let's pop this whole basket up, shall we? Put some on there. My little fingers are sticky. And I think I might, let's see here. Are these two, like you don't want the, you don't want these to show. And I would use the smaller ones, you guys, but they're not quite as thick. And then that, so it will be kind of goofy up there. So I'm going to do, this one's got to be a double decker. And we talk about double deckers. You know, I do that, don't you? I'm actually going to cut the sides here. I think that might work better for us. Okay. Does embossing powder have a shelf life? I've had mine for years and I don't think it works as good as it should. Yes, it does have a shelf life different colors have different shelf lives so the if you're using gold black uh, silver they seem to have less of a shelf life those metallics i would say a year i would say a shelf life of a year now the caveat is if you don't store them correctly like in a dry place it's going to be less than a year if you store them properly, you might get more than a year. So that's the answer, Marilyn. Yes, they have a shelf life. And you can tell when it's like, it's grim because it just won't puff up anymore. You, you'll go to, you'll go to um, heat it. And instead of getting this raised image, it'll start to flatten or it won't, it won't rise at all, or it'll rise in some spots and not others. So it isn't you, it actually, you're quite correct. It is the shelf life of the, of the, um, there we go, of the uh, embossing powder. Quite right. Okay, let's put our little cat on. Now, I'm gonna put my cat, I'm gonna need a double on this one too. I might even need a triple. Do you know why I'm doing this, do you guys, when I'm talking about double deckers? It's because you have to get it higher than, um, it's hard to describe, but you have to get it higher than um, 
the one that's popped up underneath. You're always kind of going up, up, up. If you were mailing this card, which a lot of us do, I might be inclined not to pop up the, the basket. I might have left it flatter. Yeah, treat yourself to some new ones, Marilyn. And then we've got thank you, which we're going to put on here. I think that's a good place. I'm just going to make sure my kitty cat is stuck down. I'm not going to raise this one up because now we're really getting kind of crazy with the dimensionals, aren't we? There we go. Okay, so what do you guys think? It's kind of cute. So I don't have to worry too much about the outside because it's a smaller card, right? Mm -hmm. So let me show you what I meant about the other apples. If you think to yourself, I can't cut out all those apples and glue them, but you know what? They didn't take me very long. But look, remember we were talking about the hearts and the apples and the craft supplies? There are dies that cut them out. So let me show you the other card that I made. Here it is. So this one, I, oops, this one I made and I colored it in with the Stampin' Blends. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit flatter. I left it flat. I used a different color. This is Calypso. Um, same idea. Okay, the cat is so cute. I know, which color blue basket do you like? The Bermuda or the Calypso? I think I could have glued this one flat, you guys. I think it might be a little bit too dimensionalized. I think I would have been better to do that, but I didn't know because I was crafting on the fly. I was making up as I went along. Okay. Um, yeah, some people can keep it. It just, I'm just, if you do find that it starts to flatten out, Carol, that's the reason. It's nothing that you've done. It doesn't take much humidity to get those kind of, um, you know, if any moisture gets in them, then it kind of kills them. Okay, so I'm not sure which one. I like them both. I like the little basket of apples. Those are cute, aren't they? And then I just like the ones that are colored. This is a faster card. So which ones do you guys like? Not sure. Let me know. We'll come back over here. And there we go. What do we think? We're going Apple, Bermuda Bay. I know I love it. You like the left color basket better. Oh, hi, Natasha, you snuck on there. Um, so that would be the darker, the Bermuda Blue Bay, Bermuda Bay, instead of Calypso Coral, right? I love them both too. I think they're both nice. Um, any other questions? Hi, Janice, you popped in there. I didn't see you either. Who else got on here that I didn't see? Um, we got everybody. I think if I said hello to everybody, well, I always appreciate when you guys come and see me stand live. Okay, so stay tuned for the, um, if you're on my mailing list, you would have got a link to sign up for the catalog launch, the mini catalog launch. Um, let me show you if you, a customer of mine, you would have received your mini catalog, your B receiving or would have received your mini catalogs. Now, course this is active customers people who have purchased for me in the last six months okay and it's just a perk of being a customer you'll be able to see it online July 1st but for those of you who got it in the mail um, let me know what your favorite stamp sets are and um, if you're a customer of Ange you're going to be using her link to sign up for our lunch party and not mine and she'll have that soon okay so I think that's it yeah, I think that's it. Uh, the other day when we were on, I um, was going to show you a card that, um, remember we were using, uh, what's its name, the Texture Chic Sweep? You guys remember that? That was just the other day. And then I completely forgot to show you two other card samples. So here's one, because it really is a beautiful stamp. Let me, here we go. Isn't that pretty? And then this one here, this is just using the DSP, you know, that gorgeous DSP we were playing with? How simple is that one? Okay, so I forgot to show you those the other day, so sorry about that. But those are those. All right, I think that's it. Oh yes, Natasha loves the penguin. And the penguin that was in the last um, Christmas mini is back. 
So, so cute. The punch and the stamp set are back and available. They'll be available on July 1st. All right. So everyone likes the Bermuda Bay. Okay. We're good. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I will see you again. Um, let's grab this. I'll see you again on Sunday, right? So Sunday at 10 a.m. is my next scheduled live, and I hope I can see you then. If not, I hope you grab the replay later, okay? Have a creative week, uh, and again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you coming.